Hey Rach, it's Jordan, and I'm here to show you some of the best ways to save money. This is pretty unique by today's standards because it's kind of old school, but you know what? It works. Set your budget for that person or that spending category at the top of the envelope, and then just keep it with you all month long. Even if you end up buying something online, print out the receipt, keep it in the envelope, so that all you have is one nice, neat tracking system for everything you spent for the holidays. Another major tip is to start budgeting really early on. If you are saving up for Christmas, for example, that should actually start in January and set aside the money every single month so that by the time that holiday rolls around, you don't even feel it leave your bank account. Use technology. There are websites like Rakuten that give you cash back for shopping online. There are apps like Shopkick and Fetch that actually pay you and reward you for shopping in person or in stores, including grocery shopping. One of my quickest ways to save up the most money right in time for Christmas is to do a spending freeze. For seven consecutive days, you spend zero dollars on anything except for absolute emergencies or bills that can't be paid early. Keep track of all of the money that you would have spent on groceries or shopping or eating out. Set it aside, stick it in your holiday account. When shopping online specifically, one of my favorite tips is to actually add all of your items to a cart and then walk away. Oftentimes that company will see that you've abandoned your cart and they will send you a coupon or a deal to get you to check out that order. Another benefit of adding things to your cart is that it tracks for you and sometimes they will actually email you or notify you if the items in your cart drop in price. There you go, I hope that helps you all save so much money. Thanks for having me, bye. All right, let's talk about hanging garland. When you're hanging this, you're kind of relying on where the branches of your tree lay, which doesn't always lead to a nice, even garland distribution. So what I suggest you do is just get some ornament hooks so you can spread them much more evenly around your tree. I'm gonna share with you how to use a simple paper plate to take home leftovers. So all you need to do is take your paper plate and you're gonna cut four slits up opposite sides and you're gonna fold in on those two slits then rotate the plate 90 degrees and fold again now you can simply fold your plate up into a little box shape use a little tape to secure this box into place then any leftovers can go into your new pre-made box to get sent home now you've probably seen these 16 ounce glasses at every single party you go to but you might not know that the lines on them represent things so the first line is actually a single ounce so you fill this up twice and you're going to get the perfect pour for any cocktail. The next line is typically five ounces, so that's your perfect pour for wine. And then your third line up is 12 ounces, which is going to get you the perfect pour of beer. A holiday throw is such an easy way to bring a little bit of holiday into your living room, but these can get very expensive. And I'm gonna share with you how to make this one for only about $8. You're going to start by getting two yards of fleece. As at two ends, you're gonna cut up tassels. I would say that I'm cutting probably about two to three inches in. Then you're going to knot three of those tassels together to create your fringe. And you guys, that's literally all you have to do. And it's just such a simple and easy way to bring a little bit of holiday pattern and color into your living room. <laughs> 